something's growing at Bayer. The company's making a big bet that it can make plants fertilize themselves. We actually believe we have the responsibility to solve the big issues that even may take five, ten years. And according to Axel Bouchon, head of the Bayer Life Science Center, one of those big issues, reinventing how crops grow, it's an effort to help farmers respond to a growing population and reduce waste. On a much diminished land, you have to feed more people. And uh, that's why we believe the demand for, in essence, self-fertilizing plants is the demand for the future. Bayer's Life Science Center is teaming up on a $100 million venture with Ginkgo Bioworks, a Boston-based biotech startup. They aim to mimic genomes, like those found in peanuts, that automatically provide nitrogen and apply them to crops that don't have the capability, like corn, wheat, and rice. Ginkgo's CEO, Jason Kelly, explains. We're taking the genetic design from those peanut microbes and moving it over to the ones that like to live on vegetables. The idea being, then they can start to self-fertilize. We could use less nitrogen fertilizer, save farmers money, and also give consumers a more environmentally friendly food. Fertilizer has raised pollution concerns, and it's among the most costly inputs for farmers. Growers today are spending about $80 billion a year on nitrogen fertilizer alone, and there's other types of fertilizer too. So there's an enormous expense, both in the actual uh, fertilizer you're buying, but also in getting it out onto the field. Self-fertilizing plants are one way for growers to increase efficiency after years of declining crop prices. The Bloomberg Agriculture Index has lost half its value over the last five years. That and declines in arable land amid population growth have boosted investment into agriculture technology companies like Ginkgo Bioworks. Goldman Sachs has said the growing market may be worth $240 billion by 2050. We have to look differently at fundamental breakthroughs, simply because they need an entirely different approach. They need actually 10 times the money, they need 10 times the time, or the patience if you will, but actually, mostly it needs 10 times the guts, the brains, and actually the heart. And that's why these big ideas only work in partnerships. The effort to reduce fertilizer waste comes as Bayer awaits approval for its $66 billion takeover of Monsanto, the world's largest seed company. I don't see a conflict there. We would benefit from kind of having this together because the microbes that we try to develop would perfectly fit to the chemicals we have and to the seeds we potentially would have. Buyer's bet is in its early stages. They're giving it five years to see if the technology will make it to its crops in Sacramento, California for further testing.